Hi, my name is Lawrence Liu. I am currently a high school student at Dulwich College Beijing International School in Beijing, China. The paper that I'll be presenting today is titled The Investigation of the Effect of Different Protein Content in Fish Food on the Average Weight of Lactuca Sativa under SRAPS Aquaponics Condition. And now I'll be sharing my presentation with you. So to start out with my presentation, I would like to introduce the background knowledge of my work, which is what exactly is aquaponics? Aquaponics is a method of sustainable agriculture that functions based on the merge of three biological systems, fish, crops, and microorganisms. The waste product produced by the fish is converted into nutrition for crops through nitrification process carried out by the bacteria. Therefore, cleaning the water for the fish in the aquacultural unit and providing nutrition for the crops at the same time to form an enclosed sustainable agricultural cycle. The idea of recirculating agriculture has come from the demand to reduce the negative impact caused by the runoff of heavy nutrient loaded waste produced by traditional conventional agriculture. Approaches such as the RAS, which stands for Recirculating Aquacultural System, have been made. But however, even though limited, the RAS still requires deposition of wastewater to the environment. Therefore, aquaponics have been designed to minimize the effect of agricultural waste to the environment by utilizing it as a nutritional source for the crops. In the 21st century, the raised awareness of people towards environmental issues have increased the demands of sustainable agricultural approaches, such as aquaponics. However, this system is facing multiple problems and challenges, such as its relatively low productivity that hasn't yet met the conventional demands. Meanwhile, the three biological systems merged in aquaponics all work under suboptimal conditions, which limit the efficiency of production. Therefore, this investigation is done to explore the optimal method to improve productivity under SRAPS aquaponics condition. Now, I'll be briefly summarizing my procedure of work. Before my investigation and the work, it is hypothesized that by receiving more nutrition in the aquaculture, aquaculture section, which is the fish, the crops under SRAPS aquaponics condition would demonstrate a better growth. Therefore, we prepared two identical SRAPS, which stands for a single recirculating aquaponics system and provided them with fish food in different content of proteins to the fish and compared the outcomes of the two groups. Each system is mainly composed of a fish tank with a mechanical filter and a biofilter, which hosts bacteria a crop bed made from NFT channels, and a precipitation pit for removal of additional solid materials. Before this investigation, tap water is treated with reverse osmosis technique to alter its pH level from 8.5 to 7.0, and is recirculated in the system for 28 days for the establishment of bacteria culture. Water-related parameters was tested with an API kit during this procedure. This procedure ensures that the basic conditions of the two sets are identical. 12.5 kilograms was, of fish was introduced after this procedure to each set with the same number of individuals to keep the conditions fair. The fish was kept unfed for 28 days to ensure that no extra nutrition is produced that changes the experimental conditions. The fish species selected for this experiment was common carp, Due to its adaptiv adaptability to the changing temperature across the seasons and their acceptability to both fish food made from alfalfa grass and animal contents. The west set received the lower protein content in fish food and the east set received the higher protein content in fish food. The water perimeters such as NO3, NO4, NH3, NH4 and pH levels are monitored. Crops were introduced to the system and harvested three times, which is March 19th, April 3rd, and April 25th. 
The average weight of crops were measured after the harvest in the units of kilograms using a kitchen used electronic scale. The whole investigation was conducted in a fair farm greenhouse. External factors such as lighting, temperature, and humidity are only monitored instead of being accurately controlled. The planning and harvesting of crops of the three batches also follow the natural seasonal patterns from the winter to the summer. Therefore, this makes the study increase in sustainability by saving energy and also helped it to become a model with high validity and actual an application of real world settings. Now, I would like to briefly explain the summary and analyzation of my results of the study. As hypothesized, all three batches harvested received a higher protein content, demonstrated a higher average weight compared to the set with a lower protein content. However, factors such as time and temperature also affected the growth of crops. To demonstrate and compare the results, a bar graph is created. The graph has mainly demonstrated three features. First, the east set has shown significantly higher yield than the west set in all three batches. Second, there is a consistently increase in the east set. Third, the West set has a dip in batch two. And now I would be explaining in detail the trends shown in this graph. First of all, batch one produced a relatively low weight due to the low internal temperature, which ranged from 16 degrees to 18 degrees Celsius, which limited its crop growth. Batch two has shown a higher weight compared to batch one and a lower weight compared to batch three. The result in batch two is caused by a higher temperature compared to batch one, which benefited crop growth, ranging from 20 to 22 degrees Celsius, but did not reach a higher weight due to its short growth period lasting about 34 days. Batch three has the highest weight in the east set due to a higher temperature compared with batch one, which ranged from 22 to 25 degrees and a longer growth period compared to batch two, which is 48 days versus 34 days. In batch three, the relatively high temperature compared to batch one and receiving a large, larger amount of time caused it to have the highest weight yielded in the three batches of the east set. However, the West Batch has demonstrated a different trend in crop growth and yield compared to the East Batch. Batch two in the East Batch has, Batch two in the West Batch has shown a significant decrease in weight compared to Batch one and Batch three in the West Batch to a short growth period. Batch one and Batch three both experienced a longer growth period compared to Batch two, which allowed a higher yield of crops. The longer growth period of batch one compared to batch three, which is 64 days versus 48 days, allowed batch one to shorten the difference between from batch three in the growth period and yield of crops. However, the growth and the yield of crops in batch one did not exceed batch three due to a higher temperature batch three crops are grown under, which is 16 to 18 degrees versus 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. In the East Batch 2, a similar number of crops is produced compared to Batch 3. However, it has a shorter growth period of a difference about 15 days. Concerning about this result, it can be concluded that the growing period and temperature are two determining factors that have a direct influence on the growth and the yield of crops under aquaponics condition, and that finding an optimal combination between these two factors can produce a high yield in a relatively short period. Conclusion. Overall, this investigation looked at the method of optimizing crop yield under SRAPS aquaponics condition and as hypothesized before the study. The set with a higher protein provided did demonstrate a bit better growth. Additional findings such as that suitable temperature would increase or would reduce the time and maximize the productivity has also been discovered, such as shown in batch two of the East set. This investigation demonstrated a value towards economically beneficial production of crops, 
which can be derived from the results. The investigation can also be seen as an actual sustainable model that can be adapted in most real world agricultural settings as many external factors are included into the study. By purposefully inputting fish food with high protein content, altering temperature and growth period could impact the production of crops and an optimal combination when high protein content fish food would produce a high yield under SRAPS aquaponics condition. This is my presentation. Thank you for watching.